is this. The world won't get no better if we just let it be. Na 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 na. World won't get no better. We got to change it, yeah. Just you and me. Mm. You know, when that song came out, I really believed it, and so did a lot of other other of us. Who sang along with Harold Melvin? World won't get no better if we just let it be. Na 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 na. World won't get no better. We gotta change it, yeah. You and me. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, all through time. All through time and all through our existence, existence, more specifically, black people, people of the sun, um, we have been so diametrically cut out and made to be functionary puppets that it's so hard, it's so hard to get through to us. You know what I'm saying? We have, listen. Elijah Muhammad said, we are hard-headed, stiff-necked, and rebellious. And I know, I know that was one of the most truest statements that he could have ever made about my African-Americans, as Donald Trump said. There's my African-American. But listen here, people. I want y'all to be aware, because what I'm going to talk about today is a real, real, for real, real subject. Um, it's so for real and it's so disrespectful. It's disrespectful to our ancestors, disrespectful to our lineage, and disrespectful to, for the people who don't know enough and out here trying to tell people and talk people into doing things that are really leading their people to the slaughter. And God is going to hold them accountable. See, uh, you don't mess with God's people like this because you have an agenda or because you have been given a, a golden spoon or an, um, an order to bring the sheep in and you take your job extremely serious so you don't mind working for the enemy to do just that. And there's a lot of y'all out there, a lot of y'all out there that are just so disrespectful to the culture that somebody got to talk about it. And if I don't talk about it, then I won't be, uh, I'll be a hypocrite. So I'm going to start a little bit right now. I ain't, I don't know his name, but I can tell you that uh, my likes should match my views. My views, my likes should match my views. That, that platform, Paperwork Party, that's the name of it. Paperwork Party. I think it's very disingenuous for you to be sitting up here trying to talk politics just because you've been to the Navy. I think it's very disingenuous for you to be sitting up here telling people that Biden is responsible for all this. Look, I don't like either one of these old white men. But for you to get up there and tell these people that they, they vote should vote for Trump is, is really sickening. And it shows you just how sick we are. That we just going for faces, personalities, TV talk show hosts, and just downright dumb shit in order to be to say we voted. So what I want to say to him is you need to go and talk with Yvette Carnell. You need to go talk to somebody that, I ain't talking about somebody that's a functionary puppet that just been to the service. Okay, because you've been to the Navy. That don't mean you know shit. You don't know how this, you really don't know how this works. Because they wouldn't even give your black ass that information. Excuse my French, but it is the truth. Now, for you to sit up there and talk and try to blame everything that's wrong now, every politician, honey, since before you was born, make promises he can't keep. Joe Biden ain't the first and he won't certainly be the last. That's how politics go. That's why they call it theater. 
That's why they call it theater. Because they all promise shit. And if they can't deliver. Even if they go there with the right intentions. They may go there with truly the right intentions of helping people when they get into politics. But once they get in it. I've done a video, several videos about this before. Young man, you need to know this. Once they get in there and see how it really go. Just like joining the police force, you see how it really go. You already know that your sincere aspirations don't got no home, no place in this environment. And for you to be ridiculous enough to sit up here and be telling people to vote for Donald Trump or to vote for... Let me tell you something. While the Democratic Party has taken the black vote for granted and already know that the uh, Democrat, they, they both two wings on the same bird. They want to continue to keep white supremacy going. They, they don't want to share the wealth. They don't want equality for real. And they want us to keep being a little engine that could run this bitch. Oops. Run this country. That's what they want. Okay? Now, either we're going to continue to do it, or we're going to say, look, how long are we going to be perpetually miserable and foolish? The only way we're going to get anything done, first of all, if you think you're going to get it done through those MAGA Republicans, you stupid. There's ones that are, that are so desperate and so... and so envious of us that they would want to wipe us out of history. You want something to come. So I don't want to hear what Ice Cube got to say. I don't want to hear what none of them got to say. Ain't nobody going to ask. Ain't nobody going to honor us, first of all. And if you make a treaty with these people, I don't care if you were Democrat or Republican. They're not going to honor it. Okay? You're going to have to do more than to just wait on them to to honor it for them to honor it look how many trees they signed with the Native American did they honor him did they look how many trees they didn't sign okay these people speak with forked tongue now don't be foolish enough to get somebody to lead you to a personality that you will forget all your intelligence here's the deal if you're going to get anything done, you're going to get it done through the do-nothing Democrats. That's the only way, because the other ones are already telling you, kiss my ass, I ain't giving you nothing. Don't even look my way. And if you stoop, and if you like pain so much that you want to just stand up there and go, please, please. I, uh, uh. See, because we are addicted to pain. We done been beat so much through slavery. We done been abused so much that that's a standard for us. We don't feel nothing wrong. We feel real comfortable with pain. Okay? So I know who you are. Okay? I know who we are. And unless you fight and work like hell to get it from up under that umbrella, you are fricked and fracked. And you're going to have people like the Paperwork Party or Angela Stanton if that's her, yeah, Angela Stan, and people that are telling you definitely to do stuff that is leading your people to the slaughter. Now, since the majority, if you had any common sense, you wouldn't tell people to leave the Republican Party. If you had any common sense, you would either have another party that you're going to uh, use your power and pump up, whether it's progressive or whether it's Democrat. But what you can't just vote and go home. You're going to have to vote and hold their damn feet to the fire. Ain't no more, um, just like you out there marching um, and, and trying to, when you were out there marching when George Floyd got killed. You remember the energy that was on the planet when Tamir Rice got killed and Trevon Martin? It's going to take that constant energy in order to move the needle. Oh, oh, it's a fight. In the morning, in the fight. If you belong to this clan over here, we have to fight every single day for every little damn piece of justice that we get. And if you ain't willing to do that, please don't go leading my people to the slaughter by telling them to join the Republican Party and that Donald Trump is good for them. 
a racist. Father was a Klansman. Let's be real. I don't give a damn what the, the Democratic Party ain't, ain't doing. And some of them might have fathers that's a clan. But I tell you what, you have more people that are, look like you, that are Democrats, that you're going to have to make to do something now. See, since they've been selected to be elected, it's going to take you to do more than just vote. Otherwise, the, it's going to be just like Willie Lynch said. These people are so stupid. They're stupid, and they're going to be perpetually miserable forever and ever and ever. That what y'all want? You got Ron DeSantis. He should have been shut down. But then you got other people out here telling you don't vote because your vote don't mean shit. The only thing they ever cared about is your right to bear arms. Your vote. <laughs> is it any reason that in your mind that they will go through such great lengths to stop that? Unless that's where our salvation is? Follow the, the money and follow the common sense, people. Follow the common sense. You don't say because the Democratic Party ain't... They ain't brought me nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them all now in droves. How do you think you got where you at in the, in the first place? How do you think you got the right to vote? Stupid. Just so stupid. And if you ain't going to listen to nobody that really know politics like Yvette Carnell, Tone Talks, you ain't listen to some of economists and look what the real story is. Where we at on the food chain, food chain of life. Forget all that other stuff, that other propaganda and that all the other feel-good or feel-bad emotionalism that's being sold to us by the boatload, by these people that are in our community. And I'm sick of them. Then we get to this person, Tariq Nasheed, who is the biggest grifter now on the Internet. Y'all got rid of Brother Polite. At least I don't have to see his face. He was a person that stole from this community millions. And y'all stupid enough to keep supporting them. You know why? Because you love pain. Now you got Tyreek Nasheed because he done took a whole bunch of information that was out there already, pieced it together like you do a quilt, represented it back to you as black history, which you should have damn known anyway. And now y'all giving him all your money so he can pay his mortgage. Every time somebody else get a hold and being the narcissist that he is, when he see the, um, uh, 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 the movement moving towards that individual, he gonna jump in to throw a monkey wrench in it. He jumps in it to stop the progress. The Adolf, um, American descendants of slaves, what nobody thinking about nothing like that? We had in Cobra. Trust me, because I know him. I work with him. I knew him. Then we had the Black Holocaust Society, which was I was the Minister of Information for back. We're talking thirty years ago. Look how long. Look how long HR forty been on the books from uh, Conyers up there in Detroit. Ain't nobody been paying no attention to reparations until Yvette Carnell and attorney Tone Talks, Antonio Moore, they started to talk real politics to y'all. We ain't had nobody talk politics to us. Just emotionalism. Okay? Just emotionalism. So now, if you use common sense, you won't have to be like Willie Lynch said. They'll be perpetually miserable. Don't worry about them. You will be able to identify people like Tyreek Nasheed being an informant in your damn community. Y'all don't even know, wouldn't know an agent provocateur if you seen one. If they were sitting right next to you, just like you wouldn't know Jesus if he walked amongst you. All y'all that pray to Jesus, 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 if Jesus made an appearance right now, you wouldn't have a a clue to how to treat them. 
or her. You wouldn't. So I'm saying I don't want to be from a group that's perpetually miserable. Y'all, we got to do better. You got to wake the hell up. Uh, so many of y'all are on drugs and alcohol, you can't wake up. I, I know that. Just like the dominant society. So many are on drugs and alcohol, they can't wake up. But those of y'all who are hanging on, maybe straddling the fence, maybe hanging on by a thread, I'm trying to talk to y'all. Stop these grifters. Stop these agents in our community. Stop listening to people that are telling you to do anything. Our salvation, first of all, ain't through politics. That's number one. Let's keep it real. But we in America, and we are Americans, and we gotta, and we should play the game. And if we're going to play the game, we got to play to win. We got to get in that damn Democratic Party, and we got to take the bitch over. That's what got to happen, and that's got to take a fight. Something y'all don't want to do. Because you're sitting back smoking that good, good. And it's too easy to sit back and just relax and make sure, hope somebody else do it. We got to do it. We the now people. We the his, We the people that, the people uh, 50 years from now, if we still a society, are going to be looking at us and say, what did you do? Y'all went back into bondage? Y'all let these people put you back on Jim Crow, back on the plantation uh, because of your stupidity, because of your ignorance, and your failure to do politics. Politics govern our lives. And if you don't want to do them at all, well, then you better come together and figure out how we going to do this collectively as a group to get our ass up out of this hole we in. Because... Most countries run with a government, a hierarchy. Now, if we're going to be a nation within a nation, damn it, we got to be one. But what we cannot continue to do is shit on the party who has given us any of the advances that we do have, even though they ain't shit. We just got to put their feet to the pot fire. And y'all have to excuse my language today because I wanted to bring it like I feel it. And I'm sick of these people. I'm sick of the Tyreek Nasheeds, the uh, the paperwork party, and, the, and, the, and all the people listening to these people um, thinking that they have information and they got our best interests in mind. You got all these agents, provocateurs out here. The same ones like the one when Malcolm got uh, shot that would be over him like he giving him mouth to mouth but really smothering him. Like when the FBI told uh, the, the, the note about the guys at the Lorraine Motel, don't worry about our guys, all the friendlies won't be wearing ties. Who never wore a tie? These are the things we got to deal with. What this white man has made us do to our own self. To be in good graces with him. You know who didn't have no tie on. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to tell you. It's the same script. Now you got people amongst you giving the... Uh, expos and awards and these people are just trying to stop a movement that is really based in politics not feel good and all I'm saying to you wake up wake up I, 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 there I got it off my chest if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And um, I bring it. I want to smoke. Because I know. I wish I was wrong. But I know. I know that I'm right. So bring it. Bring it.
And if you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please share the channel. You're not going to get it all fluff and frill over here. Okay? You're not going to get it like that. This is not the kind of channel that this is. I'm not here to make you like me. I'm not here to see, oh, look at you, but you look, oh, this, are you? I, I ain't got time for it. I just want to bring the truth as I see it. And with that being said, like, sh share the channel. Please comment. Because it is be uh, from your comment that we're going to continue this discussion. I'll see you in the next video.